Hello, I would like to thank SAGES for giving me the opportunity to present. I am Rebecca Fisher from the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai in New York. I'm here to present on the successful implementation of simulation program and skill center in the Dominican Republic and how it improves surgical residences laparoscopic skills. I have nothing to disclose. In developed countries, minimally invasive surgery such as laparoscopy are the preferred method of treatment compared with open surgery due to decreased infection rates and expedited recovery times. General surgery residency programs use low fidelity laparoscopic simulation with formalized curricula for over 10 years. In the United States, residents are required to pass a fundamentals of laparoscopic surgery exam to be board certified, which incorporates simulated skills. While the use of laparoscopic surgery is expanding in the Dominican Republic, it is still underutilized in low and middle income countries due to financial and training burdens. Residents have limited formal training included in their residency programs, and many surgeons learn informally after completing their residency during their first years in practice. For this study, the Mount Sinai Hospital in New York introduced a laparoscopic surgery simulation center in a public hospital in Santiago, Dominican Republic. Our intention was determining the feasibility of implementing a training program in a low and middle income country setting. Here, we examine whether the positive effects of simulation that have been reported in North America are generalizable to resource limited settings. We worked at the Hospital Jose Maria Cabral Ibeas in Santiago, Dominican Republic. Santiago is the second largest city with a population of 550,000. In August of 2018, recruitment, simulation program introduction, and preliminary data were collected. The simulation con center consists of three simulation stations in a dedicated room. Residents were required to practice one hour per week under the guidance of a general surgery PGY3 Mount Sinai resident. Ten months later, number of hours practiced were self-reported and follow-up data was collected. Study endpoints included three times on simulated laparoscopic tasks peg transfer, precision cutting, and intracorporeal knot time. Two-tailed paired t-tests were used to determine whether simulation times from preliminary improved significantly. The collaborative partnership between Cabral and Mount Sinai fostered an environment where simulation successfully incorporated into the Dominican General Surgery Resident Training Infrastructure. Residents averaged 25 hours of practice, 85% of residents participated, and resident simulation time significantly improved for precision cutting, from four minutes and 13 seconds to two minutes and 13 seconds, and for intracorporeal knot time from five minutes and 28 seconds to three minutes and 26 seconds. There was no significant difference in peg transfer times and difference between residency years. In conclusion, the president study shows that successful integration of laparoscopic simulation program into a single low and middle income country setting surgical residency training program. In a 10 month time frame, resident simulation skills significantly improved in multiple components of laparoscopic surgery. With commitment from the local institution as well as appropriate external resources, establishment of laparoscopic simulation centers are feasible and expandable in low income countries. Thank you for your time.